So responses to avapritinib in advanced systemic mastocytosis has been quite dramatic, um, especially in terms of the pathology as I'm a pathologist. What we're seeing is marked decreases in mast cell burden in bone marrow biopsies in almost all patients. And what's interesting about the decrease in the mast cells is that it goes through a spectrum of changes. So first you lose the mast cell aggregates, tightly clumped clusters of mast cells as they become fewer in number, then they become loose clusters and finally they become um, interstitial mast cells uh, resembling normal mast cells in the bone marrow. And accompanying this is a decrease in cellularity of the bone marrow. So patients with advanced systemic mastocytosis have hypercellular marrows, but with avapritinib, what we're seeing is that by uh, several months on treatment is that hypercellularity goes to a normal cellularity. Accompanying that is changes in the mast cell uh, morphology. So they go from immature mast cells and spindle-shaped mast cells to normal, well-differentiated mast cells, which are round with many metachromatic granules. And then they also change their phenotype from aberrant expression of CD25 aberrant expression of CD30 to becoming normal mast cells that lack expression of CD25 and CD30. So it's a very nice uh, pathogenic story that you can see uh, in the response to avapritinib. Um, and so it's, it seems to be very effective uh, in patients with advanced systemic mastocytosis.